Jack, congrats, mate, on the extension. Uh, must have been an easy decision for you, I guess. You seem to be pretty happy here in Tassie. Yeah, 100%. Uh, agent and upstairs did their business and happy to put pen to paper and call Tasmania home. I wouldn't want anything else. What's, what, what have you enjoyed about it so far, I guess? Is it the culture? Is it playing some of your best basketball, I suppose, a bit of everything? Oh, it's 100% everything. For me, it's the people, though. Whether it's the people I work with, the people I run into at Kingston, uh, from upstairs management to teammates to the DPs, the support staff, to the people of Tasmania and the ones that show up every single night and cheer us on. It's all of that is what makes this place special. All of that's what makes us win basketball games and all of that's what makes me want to stay here and keep playing basketball for as long as I can. It was a bit of a risk when you came out, I suppose, unknown. Um, you know, you're over the 36s obviously, but it's all paid off for you. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I know Coach Scott, Scott did his background checks, who's this crazy kid from Adelaide uh, that's running around screaming and I'm, I'm glad he brought me in and I'm glad it worked out. Scott seem, you seem like um, Scott's your biggest fan, it seems like, when he talks to us media. Tell, talk a bit about the relationship you've formed with him and, and how that helps you want to stay here, I guess. Yeah, I mean, the last couple of weeks he's been challenging me, so I've probably been his least favourite, but uh, it's good. He, he believes in me, I believe in him. It's, it's a buy-in on a mutual way, and he pushes me, uh, makes me uncomfortable on the basketball court in trainings every day, brings in guys like Kells that I have to battle against, and iron sharpens iron, but... You know, a coach and a player is one of the biggest relationships involving basketball and I'm, I'm lucky to have uh, him back me and in my corner. Wouldn't ask for anything else. What are some of the things he's been challenging you on? Uh, he called me Jack Slow the other day and I've been slower than that. So I'm trying to keep work on my body, uh, being more physical, getting stronger, all those things, continually trying to build. I, I feel like as a basketball player, I'm only just beginning. Uh, like I'm at like 20% of what I can be and and I think he sees the same and uh, we just got to show up every day and keep working. How much does that excite you that you do feel you're only at 20% you're probably already one of the better players in the league? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's just, there's always so much room to grow, like in everything from on court to off court, being a better teammate, uh, you know, shooting more consistently, stronger, all that good stuff. Uh, it's exciting to come to work every day. Scott mentioned the other day he'd love you to be a jack jumper for your whole career. Is that something you'd ever consider or think about? I mean, it'd be pretty awesome. Like, hopefully one day I'd like to sit sort, uh, courtside, have a Willie Smiths and uh, number nine banner be raised. Uh, <laughs> that'd be something that I could sleep nicely on for sure. You had that shoulder injury in recently. How'd that happen? Yeah, it was, it was hard coming back. Uh, I've been pretty open about how hard Darwin was for me physically and mentally coming back from kind of my first major injury uh, and it's, it's feeling good we're still doing work on it every day uh, but it's getting stronger as we're going along and hasn't caused me any problems in the games. As I said to Scott mate it's been a long time since the team's done what you guys have heard the night so you uh, yourself mate it's like watching the Harlem Globetrotters there at one stage you played that one. Uh, it was definitely a cool moment just to do that at home against such a quality team against Bryce Cotton against guys WAG staff guys that have been winning and doing that to other teams for a long time we still got a lot of room to grow and we got after it today in practice and in film, pushing each other, holding each other accountable because we want to have more nights like that. And you almost got it done against New Zealand last time over there. How tough was the trip uh, just getting there and all the things that went wrong, I suppose, and you're confident you can turn it around this time? Yeah, we're feeling good. We feel like we've grown a lot. Uh, that second half in New Zealand was kind of a huge step in stone for us on um, the way we want to play and hopefully we can keep carrying this over. We don't talk too much about the difficulties of travelling. Every team goes through it, so we've got to show up, no one cares, and play our best basketball. You've quickly become a fan favourite here yourself. Um, how much do you thrive on hitting these big shots? And you're very animated towards the crowd. How much do you enjoy that stuff? Oh, it's, it's one of the main reasons I play basketball. Uh, it's one of the main reasons I wake up and put in the work I do is so I can be on that court and take and make those big shots. and. Uh, yeah, the fans get me going and uh, I love nothing more in life. I'm sure you already had the confidence, but does the last few weeks, the four game win streaks, further give you guys belief that you can really challenge the title this year? Yeah, 100%. I mean, we felt like it coming into camp, uh, into pre season this year, that, you know, we want to take it one step further. We've been focusing on the day by day process, uh, but we believe we're good enough. I mean, every team should believe they're good enough, but we believe we're doing the right things working on that process and we should keep continue to keep getting better. Does it excite you that you've still got Clint and Will to add back into this squad? Yeah, 100%. They were out there running around, looking good. Uh, 
you know, seeing Magne on the court and, and moving has brought an energy to the team that, that we've needed and it's just exciting, like a terrific bloke. Been putting in the work every single day, seven days a week in gym, in the gym, on the court and to see him out there has been uplifting for the, for the whole club. What's the difference between this culture and I guess the Adelaide culture with fans? Uh, man, every, every team has a different culture from year on, year out. We're just in a really lucky spot here where we could start it our own way uh, from the jump. There's not many opportunities where you get to do that, where you bring in a group of guys and you say, there's no excuses, there's no, before this, I'll change that. It's do it like this or get out. And we hold that to a pretty serious standard and every single person that's come in has, has done that. You mentioned recovering from the shoulder injury. Do you feel you've got your legs back and you're probably running at 100% now or is there still room? I would say I'm pretty close. I would say definitely the last couple of weeks I'm getting back to, to up in that 90 to 100%. Like recovering from training is a lot easier. It takes a while. Like semi math was great on the weekend. I know he pulled up sore. And uh, with, with how hard we train, it takes a couple of days sometimes. But uh, I'm getting very close.